Your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the Elusive Target Arcade. And today's arcade, the cliches, or the cliches. This is a free level arcade, and we will be starting in Paris. We have Nina Torvik as our target, and for this escalation slash challenge, we have a restricted loadout, so we're going to go into all three of these levels with empty pockets. So, right from the start and off the bat, we need to make our way up to the top floor of the palace. And our target is entering into the area herself, uh, just off to our right. And we're going to meet her up on the top floor floor basically so we're gonna enter into the palace around the right hand of the grand staircase and around to our right into the bathroom and retrieve the Iago invitation and then make our way out the side of the building and around to the doors at the rear and over here we will hand over our invitation and be allowed back into the building in the more restricted areas. Yes, I do. That's why I'm not stood outside checking other people's IDs. Right, so we made it through our checkpoint here. Now there should be another checkpoint just here, but they don't seem to want to ask me, and they don't seem bothered that I walk straight past them. So onwards. That's a little glitch that I, I've experienced there, so it probably won't happen for you and you will have to show your invitation again and it, at this point you will get a frisk. Luckily our pockets are empty. So once you've made it through the frisk and checkpoint zones to the top of the stairs we're going to end up in the attic area and we're just going to run around to our left and into the room here and as you can see a guard has just approached the window so we can then sneak up behind him render him unconscious we're going to take his gun take his outfit and we're going to leave him there and we're now going to make our way across the building uh, normally you could just go through the attic it probably would be slightly quicker but there are a number of enforcers to avoid so it's easier to go through the more public sections of the building and we're going to go right through the auction and into Dahlia's private office on the far side and this will be our kill box and we're going to drop that chandelier on our target now obviously we only have an assault rifle and it's not silenced but luckily I've never actually attempted this particular elusive target before so I've watched numerous videos on, on the subject and the only one that even came really close let me know that the window just off to my right shoulder isn't see-through so we can stand outside that window with a gun drawn and not be spotted so using that we're gonna take care of our target with a chandelier drop and as long as we just drop the assault rifle and run away no one should spot us so we're up in position right now we're just waiting for our target to arrive uh, she's just arriving now this should be around about the four minute mark in the game give or take and she's gonna meet up with Dahlia Margolis out on the balcony area there on the landing and uh, Dahlia will then lead our target into the office just off to our left off screen and then Dahlia will leave and our target will mill around in that room and out on the balcony and basically we're waiting for her to pull out her phone and start messing with her phone at that point she will then be under the chandelier or as under as she can be and we can then shoot the chandelier down and we can then run away like a big girl's blouse 
so we're just waiting for Dahlia to lead our target into the office they're on their way now so we're going to use instinct here and you'll see both the ladies enter the room along with two enforcer bodyguards and they're going to have a quick ideal mirror chat if you notice closely that they absolutely mirror each other for every movement and then Dahlia will leave and at that point we're just waiting for our target to whip out her phone and stand under the chandelier for us so any second now Dahlia should have left I think she's just leaving now our target is approaching the window the one that we can't see through or she can't see through at least there she is in the white pantsuit so she's gonna just mill around in this room moving from place to place and eventually she will pull out her phone and we can drop the chandelier on her and it turns out for me at least once she leaves the window she goes and stands and pulls out her phone so taking our opportunity we're going to shoot the chandelier down on top of her the money has been wired to your account and we are going to then exit back through uh, Dahlia's private quarters and the auction room and out onto the outer bar and down the drain pipe to the ground floor so we are well clear now at this point you could go for the helicopter exit uh, you just have to avoid the enforcer patrolling around the helicopter but I as usual will be going for my favorite exit in Paris the wine cellar exit it is the least defended and funnest to get to going through this dread portal to hell so that is level one taken care of let's move on to level two so on to level two and this is set in Colorado so again we have a li uh, restricted loadout so our pockets will be empty we have our target mr foreman and we have to retrieve some information or intel on a military operation so right from the start and off the bat we need to make our way into the compound now the whole area is hostile to us so we do require a change of disguise as quickly as possible and if we're quick enough we can get inside turn off and on this generator here and when the gentleman comes around to investigate there will be another gentleman moving off to the right and he's going to go to the toilet and he will have his back to us after that he will have a cigarette and he will be facing this way so we need to get this done quickly there goes the gentleman on the right there just off for his br uh, relief break shall we say so when the guard comes to investigate the generator we can render him unconscious drag him back towards the fence where there is a crate provided we're going to take his outfit and we're now free and clear to roam through most of this map unmolested there is an enforcer just off to our left but if you give him a nice wide berth he won't bother you and we are heading for the farmhouse now uh, we can't go into the farmhouse in this disguise but just before we get to the farmhouse we will find some moving vehicles and in the rear of one of these vehicles we will find an elite soldier outfit and the elite soldier is allowed into the farmhouse so we're going to quickly put on the elite outfit and make our way towards the farmhouse we're going to go up and over the banisters here and in through the open window to avoid the cameras outside of the doors and then from here we're going to just make our way through the entrance hall into the server room and we're going to deactivate the server and that will attract the attention of one of the two hackers who are upstairs and we need both of them out of our way so there's one of them now and one by one we will lure them down into the server room 
and render them unconscious, leaving only two people on the top floor we need to worry about. One of which will be our target, and the other is quite easy to avoid, but somewhat time consuming. So when the first hacker finally arrives, we can sneak up behind him, render him unconscious before he turns off the server, or turns on the server should I say, we're going to hide him behind these two yellow or green air conditioning units. We're going to get him nicely tucked up behind there, just in time as we attract the attention of the second hacker with the downed server. And all we have to do now is await his arrival, and this time round we will let him turn the server back on before we pounce, just so that we don't uh, attract anybody else's attention to this area and they start getting nosy and want to investigate things and have to discover a couple of unconscious bodies. So once the hacker has turned the server back on we can then pounce on him, render him unconscious and we're going to hide him with his colleague just behind the air conditioning units over here. I'm sure these used to be grey in the original game make sure he's nicely tucked away no one else really should come through here but it's always better to be safe than sorry so we're now going to make our way back out into the entrance hall area and we're going to use instinct to discover the location of the patrolling enforcer guard who has just made his way to the top of the stairs there now his next move will be to make his way down the stairs and into the bedroom that we are just stood outside of. So when he does that, we're gonna make our way back into the server room, let him go into the bedroom before making our way upstairs where we will encounter our target and the laptop we require. So once he's safely into the bedroom, we can make our way up the stairs. Our target has just made his way out onto the balcony so we're just going to give him a little shove, and away he goes. Target down. So with the target taken care of, we're going to approach the laptop in the hacker's room and collect the intel. The money has been wired to your account. So that's all of our objectives now complete. Now all we have to do is escape the area. And again, we are trapped in a way with the routine of the patrolling guard. He's just making his way back up the stairs here. Once he's in position, we can then bolt down the stairs and back out through the bedroom window. And we are going to head for the boat exit, which is pretty much the only exit that doesn't have a camera or a guard nearby. So we're just going to scoot straight past all the tech area and to our awaiting boat. So there we go, quite an easy one that as you don't actually require anything to complete it. And let's move on to level 3. So moving on to level 3 and we are in Sapienza. Again we have a restricted loadout so we're going in pockets empty but we do have two targets to get rid of so this will be a little bit time consuming. It usually is quite easy. So right from the start and off the bat, we see Celtic lost again, right off to our safe house and we're going to make our way up to Rocco's apartment. We're going to retrieve his outfit and we're going to pick up a, a few items along our way into the mansion basement or the wine cellar area. So straight into the ICA safe house and straight out the back door. Although I go and grab the kitchen knife. You don't actually need the kitchen knife but I've decided to grab it anyway. So we're gonna continue on out the back door, up onto Rocco's balcony. We're gonna grab his kitchen assistant outfit, and then we're gonna make our way over to the Caruso mansion and scoot along the edge and into the pantry area. And this is why I said you don't really need the knife because in the pantry, 
we will find two tins of spaghetti which are much more useful items as they're not illegal they're also not lethal so once we have the spaghetti we're going to pass through the kitchen grabbing the rat poison from the counter on our way and then veer off into the left and through the small door here and down here we find some stairs to the wine cellar and a uh, house serving staff outfit so we're gonna take the knife we've collected or one of the uh, expired spaghetti cans we're gonna open the door and throw the knife on the floor that's gonna get the attention of that young gentleman there and while his back is turned we can add our uh, eggmatic poison or our rat poison to the wine glass on the barrel and then all we have to do is wait for our target to arrive now this can take some time for me surprisingly as I got into this position he arrived so I wasn't waiting very very long at all but you could be stood here for several minutes all depends on what time you get here and where our target is in his routine but eventually he will sample the poisoned wine glass he will get sick and he will make his way to the bathroom just in the corridor over our right shoulder I'm gonna wait for the bodyguards as well because I'm not gonna wander straight in usually I'll be inside the bathroom already waiting but one of the bodyguards has a habit of following the target into the bathroom luckily he's stopped at the threshold and he's turned around so now we're free and clear to make our way inside close the door behind us and tell our victim here that he's allergic to kittens target down one more to go so as Diana said one target to go we're gonna exit the mansion area and we're gonna make our way over to the town hall now I should point out at this point we're getting to the slightly trickier part of this mission and full disclosure I lose my silent assassin rating just through the carelessness on my own part so we're gonna make our way around to the rear of the town hall we want to give the rear stairs there a nice wide berth because there is a camera and we're gonna make our way down into the basement stairs here and we're just gonna wait right here and inside the room beyond that door is a kitchen assistant and we need his outfit and the key that he drops uh, he's momentarily going to come out here for a cigarette and when he does we're going to slip past him into the basement area and we're just going to wait in here for him to finish his cigarette and make his way back into the room uh, he won't be very long but he's quite a while uh, I'm not quite stood far enough in I want to be nice and out of sight when he walks back in the doorway that might just do a little bit more really should be just to be sure but the kitchen assistant is now returning and once he's safely past us we can then walk up behind him render him unconscious we're gonna collect up the key that he drops that will come in handy later on we're going to deposit our new friend here in the freezer provided of which there are many and we're going to take his outfit so we're no longer trespassing anywhere in this building to the, my, the best of my knowledge so from here we're going to make our way up the stairwell to the top floor and we will be spotted by a couple of cameras along the way but that's not important as we will be taking care of the surveillance system uh, a little bit later on so ignore the cameras make our way up to the fourth floor and this is where things go horribly wrong for me so we're gonna make our way up to the bohemians apartment and just before we go through the door we are gonna select one of our cans of spaghetti and at this point the bohemian has broke his routine and I think he's gonna come outside 
but he didn't. He went back inside. I've took the opportunity to render him unconscious just as he turns around and spots me. So, there goes the silent assassin rating. Now, if you're less uh, prone to just diving into a room and are a little bit more uh, subdued, you can quite easily take out the bohemian without being spotted. And then we're, once he is unconscious, we just need him out of our way because we're going to use his area for a, a couple of bodies. And we don't want him wandering around discovering them. So I'm taking the opportunity here to try and lure out the guard you can see having a cigarette by the window, but nothing seems to be working. We've run out of time anyway as the patrolling guard has arrived. Uh, it was him we were initially waiting for. So once he stood at the balcony's edge, we can render him unconscious, grab up his gun, we're going to grab his body, and when the smoking guard moves away, we can then drag him past the window and up into the bohemian's room. We're going to take his outfit, make our way back down to the open window, and we're going to place our gun on the floor outside the open window. We're going to have that spaghetti back, getting hungry. So, take out your gun, place it on the floor. Now, as you noticed earlier, that guard didn't react to me throwing the spaghetti cans. And he also doesn't react to the gun for some reason. He should do, but it doesn't always. So, which is why we picked up the spaghetti cans, because we are going to try and get his attention somehow. So, we're just going to wait for him to return to the window to have his cigarette. And once he's back in position, he hasn't spotted the gun. So let's try and throw the soda cans at the wall and get his attention. So we're just going to throw the first one anywhere, sort of down there maybe. Nothing, no. Are you blind, mate? Did you not see the can hurtle across your line of sight with a gun in the center of it? So the second can we threw just at the wall underneath the window and that has got his attention. So we're going to hug the wall by the door and we're going to subdue him from around the corner. Uh, we're going to leave his body there because it won't matter. We're going to collect up his gun as well just in case. And we're going to make our way through the open window. Now there are two more guards in this room. One is an enforcer. And they're both in the ideal position for us right now. Now, I hesitated. I, I should have just ducked straight in that window, rendered this first guard unconscious with his back to us, picked up the wrench, uh, the crowbar, and immediately launched it at the second guard's head. Now, if I hadn't already lost my silent assassin rating, I probably would have lost it there as well, again, due to my own rush. Uh, I, I could have dived in that window a little bit quicker but I hesitated and the guard turned round. I could have, if I was unsure, I should have just aborted and waited for them to go round again. So we're going to grab the propane cylinder from the desk by the surveillance system, make our way downstairs one floor using the key we collected earlier and we're going to deposit that propane cylinder on the footlocker by the windows before retracing our steps back up to the fourth floor I believe it is and to the windows above and all we're going to do now is wait for our target to be in position which he just has arrived and we're just going to blow up the gas cylinder as quickly as we can time to find an exit so, if you're slightly more careful than I was, you will get away with a silent assassin rating. All that's left to do is escape. So we're going to make our way straight down the church tower, or tower stairs. And the nearest available exit is actually in the harbour. They've taken away the Herbie VW Beetle exit. And we have to make our way to the beach. 
So there we go, one more elusive target arcade taken care of. This one was quite tricky as I'd never encountered one of the elusive targets before, but we did manage in the most part to get it done. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.